Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we're going to be checking to see how a website is down. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So how exactly can you check if a website is down? There's a few different steps in doing so, especially if you are experiencing accessibility issues. Now it's recommended that you actually check it with a some sort of like a, of detector and there is one you guys can follow and it is called down detector. Now you could actually have a in real time information of the status of various websites and online services based on user reports and monitoring. All you need to do is enter the URL of the website you want to actually check. So if you search up, say, Instagram and select that, it'll give you some of the results, of course, and we'll check Instagram, see if there's a problem with it. It'll ask whether you're having an op uh, any issues with the app login maybe the actual website so with the website as you could see um, these are the outages that's reported in for instagram for the last 24 hours so we actually have some real time here uh, so at the minute so it's may 24th today at 20 past 11 you can see that it's got 27 reports and nine baselines you can see a map as well of the reported areas so you actually have a full blown area or heat map of where there's issues for the instagram website or app but as you can see uh, at the minute user reports indicate no current problems at instagram and you can check it for the app as well um, by selecting an option for the feedback you can see that 63% of the problems are reported within the app, 20% is within the website, and 17% would be with the logins. Uh, of course, there's people here that are commenting as well. So these are real time, so 10 hours ago. So a couple of issues with people here, and of course, this is not all being rectified. So you could use the down detector. And you, you guys may know Okla. They do a couple of plugins as well. Another great URL to use for checking if a website is down right now is, is it down right now? Now you can check Facebook, you can check, um, let's, we can use our own one here, which is profile tree. And we'll go back to here, add our URL in. We can check that up we'll get a detailed response as well so it'll specify the website name you've got url checked response time which is 11.05 ms last down more than a week ago so everything is all good with this website now if you were checking for a another site so we'll just return uh say we were doing instagram again so search for Instagram. We'll just check that URL. Now it'll show you that it was last down one day and 14 hours ago. So there was an issue with it a day and 14 hours ago. And of course you can use the down detector as well to get real time uh, comments. Uh, it's response time is 8.34. Of course it'll, it's showing you the website name and the URL. Uh, here's a graph of the history on it so this is pretty much from every day and everything has been pinged right so you've got a detailed version of your your date the time the ping time as well and also gives you some troubleshooting instructions if you can't access Instagram so it could be browser related uh, problems which is forcing a full refresh so that's control f5 so that's another step as well that you can do uh try alternative alternative urls as well uh one 
to note as well is to do a clear, or well, to clear your browser cache. So sometimes cache data can interfere with accessing a website. So clearing your browser cache can help ensure you are loading the most recent version of the website. You can also, oh, you can usually find the cache clearing option within your browser settings. So there's a couple of instructions there for Firefox, Chrome, and the Explorer. So you can go ahead and check them out. Could be a DNS problem, so something out of reach. Uh, domain name allows a site IP address so to be identified with Word, so it could be an issue in there end. So it's nothing that you can do. You could what you can do um, there where it's optioning you to clear your local DNS cache just to make sure that you grab the most recent cache that your ISP has. Um, you, if you can access a website at office or from a 3G network, then it's not working on your computer. So there's a couple of ways there. Now, there are other options as well. So you can ping the website. So if you open up your command prompt uh, windows or use a terminal on the Mac or Linux, uh, type ping and then the website URL without the brackets. So just to give you a live version of what I mean by pinging a website. So this is using the Windows command line or and MS-DOS. Uh, anyway, if you, let's just use one as an example. So if we type in ping, um, let's just say Instagram, Dot com. So it's pinging Instagram and this is the reply. So sent for, received for, lost zeros, zero percent loss. So everything is completely fine. It averages at 27 MS. So loading time and everything is grand with the Instagram website. So just to further explain the zero percent loss. So with the statistics that you guys can see, Four packets were sent and four were received. That it just indicates that the computer has no issues communicating across the network. If you had errors during the ping, it would look similar to maybe, uh, see if I can give you an example. So I've tried to do a couple of pings there, but none is showing me anything. But if we take, for example, the Nike website. So if I sent four and lost four, all of the replies here would be request timed out. So that, that would mean it would be a, it could be a, a bad response. So like the following here, so that's an unknown address, doesn't exist, so it can't, can't even start the ping. Uh, the example that I was on about with the sent for and lost for, where you get a request timed out, uh, that basically just means that nothing has been received from the server. So of course, if that happens, then try different devices and try different networks. And of course, if you're still unsure if a website is down, then do that. Um, access a computer, a smartphone, different networks like different Wi-Fi, mobile data, just to rule out any localized connection issues. But folks, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. So if you follow those steps, you can determine if a website is down or experiencing accessibility problems. Now keep in mind that website downtime can occur for various reasons, including server issues, they could be doing maintenance, so you'll get 404 pages, or even network problems. And it may be temporary or just a specific certain to the regions. Now if you guys enjoyed the video, please do leave us a comment on the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.